Hey y'all, so as I've been saying, the firewood is getting ready to start happening. We cleared off all this area here where the log splitter is. I leveled a little spot for it and I've dug out a little spot right here so that we can back the truck up to the bank. So the whole idea here is that we're gonna let gravity help us out. Um, we're in a, in a unique position here where I think we can have it work like this. I'm not really sure, but I think that it will. We've, my plan is all the trees and stuff. Ooh, you got a grub worm. <laughs> so most all the trees and things are up here, up on the ridge. So the plan is we will bring them down with the tractor. Just we'll cut the stumps off of them, drag the tree down with the tractor to this area right in here where we will start blocking it up. So the firewood can come down to where the boys can split it. Then from there, they'll just pitch it over the hill on farther down the hill. We'll look at the log splitter like right in here, right in this area. Then from there, we can load it onto the truck, which is also down the hill. So I think, I think this is a good plan. I'm pretty sure it's gonna work well, but uh, we're gonna find out here in just a little bit. We're getting ready to start dragging some logs down. Uh, we've leveled out a spot here, like I was saying, for the splitter. So should have decent working areas here. Um, but we're gonna find out. We'll, we'll, we'll let you know how it goes. So, I think this is going to work out pretty good. We dragged like a really big locust tree down, a giant walnut tree, and um, I, I mean, everybody just kind of getting into the routine. I mean, we, we split maybe half of a load of wood so far, and uh, that's not bad just considering we're just getting started and trying to get the routine down. So uh, it's only going to get faster and faster the more we do this. But um, I am quite pleased with this, aren't you, Jack? Yeah, I think so. Um, so hopefully this is going to be amazing. It's another day. We've got a little bit of wood cut, but not much. Not enough to sell yet for sure. But the barn enclosing plans are coming together. That's the main exciting thing I want to talk to you all about. <clears throat> or catch y'all up on I should say I just got off the phone with a sawmill a local sawmill here and uh, told him my situation what kind of trees I had that I was taking and harvesting and uh, he was very excited hey Hopi take that bag somewhere else baby I'm doing a video okay they can hear it thank you so I, I talked to the sawmill guy he is very excited um, he really needs the wood that I have bad and I need some of the stuff he has so we are going to barter uh, for the lumber I need to enclose the barn to build my barn doors which is huge huge for me uh, I'm gonna be able to build these barn doors with no money out of pocket and that is a big deal and the other thing he also needs cedar and he is super excited as well, and I am too, because he wants to barter with me. Uh, like, he wants to buy cedar from me, but I need some cedar too, so we're just gonna barter. I'm gonna bring him the logs, he's gonna do the work, I'll bring, I'll supply the materials, and then he'll cut saw me lumber and him lumber both. So then I'll have uh, the lumber I need to build our raised garden beds, um, which is another huge thing that we've been wanting to do. Um, just a lot of really cool things happening. I mean, wow, I just can't believe like how quickly things go together. I was kind of, I wasn't stressing about the barn doors earlier, but I was, my plan was to figure out a way to make this happen today. 
and um, I went up I had finally well I was like I don't have the lumber I can't buy the lumber so I went up on the ridge and I was going to uh, cut some logs and just use logs to frame it in and I got up there and I was like it just didn't set well with me and um, I had already prayed I said God you know please give me wisdom give me provision you know I, I need this to happen I don't know what I'm gonna do and I got up there and I thought well let me call the sawmill guy and I called him uh, and text him as well and he called me back and said hey this is what we need we can help each other out and, and that's how God works I mean it's just like in the 11th hour we've got snow or they're calling for snow coming in like a mix wintery mix coming in next week the middle of next week and today is Friday so that leaves me not very many days left to get this done so um, here in a little bit I'm gonna go up here and harvest the the tree that we're trading for the first lumber and then take some pictures of some of the big cedars that I have and he is excited I'm excited and we are both gonna be blessed by this uh, not a turn of events uh, I don't I can't think of a fancy way to put it blessed by the way God works that's fancy enough right that's that's like the the legit of it oh something else funny y'all see the van down here I'm drinking coffee I don't I'm drinking afternoon coffee it's probably a bad idea so this morning, I went to go get feed. I had to turn the van around, so I backed in right here a little bit lower than I normally would. And when I went to pull back off to go down the hill, the back end of the van slid down the hill. So instead of driving, like making the curve onto the driveway, it was just trying to, trying to stay straight with me. Going sideways down the hill, so... I finally got into the driveway and then I was trying to go back and forth, back and forth. I know we've talked about our van does not go very well. It's terrible. If you get it on uneven ground, you can forget it. So then I just decided, well, it won't go forward. I mean, it won't go backwards. So I'll just try to make the turn down the drive. I got over here. As soon as my front tire hit the grass, the van just, shoo, just slid down the hill. It was pouring the rain this morning. It's super slick. If you get off the driveway, it's slick when it's raining here. So. Yep, that's where the van is parked. I'll get the tractor here in a little bit and pull it out and uh, get it back up in the driveway. So I was about 10 minutes late getting feed this morning because of that situation. And uh, I had to uh, swap the car seats. I had Jacob and Hope with me. They both wanted to go. Lydia. and uh, Or not Jacob and Hope. It was Lydia and Jacob. That's what it was. They both wanted to go with me. So uh, they take turns every week. Some of the duallys do. And it was their week, so... That was a little bit of excitement this morning. Everybody was freaking out. Like, not my kids, but the, the feed people when I called them. They're like, oh, is everybody? I was like, no, this is, hey, it's normal, y'all. No big deal. This is how we roll. But the fall colors are just amazing. I hope y'all can see them. I am loving it. We're going to try to take some family pictures this weekend if we can figure out how. But anyway, that's a quick little update. I'm uh, not going to do any footage of cutting a tree right now just because of a time crunch and I really have to hurry and get this done. Um, I'm not going to have Jack or any of the big Jack, Josiah, Emma or Kylie or Jenna tomorrow or this evening. They, they have a youth thing at church. Uh, Jenna is a, is a helper there and uh, the rest of the kids are youth so they, they have a... Um, a uh, like a youth convention type thing this weekend and uh, so that's what they're gonna be doing so it's gonna be me and the four littlest duallys here this weekend I told Jenna if I can get these logs cut and loaded today then I can haul them to the sawmill in the morning so that's my plan but anyway that's our update uh, thank y'all for watching leave us a comment below subscribe to our channel if you're not already click the like button and uh, click the little notification bell that way YouTube will notify you every time we upload a video. We'll catch y'all later.